लाइट ऑफ भागवता चैप्टर 19 राइजिंग टू रियलिटी अ क्रेन स्टैंड्स ऑन द एज ऑफ अ पॉन्ड दैट इज ऑलवेज डिस्टर्ब बाय फ्लोइंग वाटर मड एंड स्टोन्स द क्रेन इज लाइक अ हाउस होल्डर हु इज डिस्टर्ब इन द शेल्टर ऑफ हिज होम बट हु बिकॉज ऑफ टू मच अटैचमेंट does not want to change his position the forgetful householder life of the conditioned soul is a soul killing dark well this is the opinion of shri pralhad maharaj the celebrated devotee of the lord too much attachment for heart and home is never recommended by a self realized soul therefore the span of the human life should be methodically divided The first stage is called the Brahmacharya Ashrama or the order of life in childhood when the man to be is trained in the ultimate goal of life. The next stage is Grihastha Ashrama in which the man is trained to enter into the transcendence. Then comes the Vanaprastha Ashrama, the preliminary stage of renounced life. The last is recommended is the sanyas order or the renounced order of life in this way one accepts a gradual process of spiritual activities for ultimate goal of liberation unfortunately for want of sufficient culture of the human spirit no one wants to give up the household life even though it is full of pin pricks and mud and those who are too attached amidst the pin pricks of muddy householder life are compared to the cranes that stand on the bank of river for some sense enjoyment despite of all the inconveniences there we should always remember that the society friendship are only shadowy representations of the real society friendship and love reciprocated in the kingdom of god there is no reality in the conditioned life of material existence but because of our ignorance we are attached to the mirage the idea of society friendship and love is not at all false but the place where we search for it is false we have to give up the false position and rise to the reality that should be the aim of life and that is the result of cultivating the human spirit unfortunately for want of the sufficient culture of this spirit the materialistic man always sticks to this false place in spite of all its turmoils it is said that a man should give up the order of householder life at the age of 50 but in this era of ignorance even an old man wants to rejuvenate his bodily functions put on artificial teeth and make a pretense of youthful life even on the verge of death crane like politicians especially are too much attached to the false prestige of position and rank and so they always seek reelection even at the fag end of life these are some of the symptoms of an uncultured life light of the bhagavata chapter 20 true purport of the vedas distorted by kali fierce torrents of rain break over the strands and the partition walls of the paddy field these disturbances resemble those created by the seasonal opponents of the standard principles of the vedas who are influenced by the age of kali Originally the path of self realization was established by the standard direction of the Vedas Sri La Vyasadeva ji divided the original Veda into four divisions namely sama atharva rig and yajur then he divided the same Vedas into 18 puranas supplements and the mahabharata and then again the same author summarized them in vedanta sutra 
the purpose of all these vedic literatures is to realize one's self to be a spiritual being eternally related with the supreme personality of godhead the all attractive form lord shri krishna but all these different vedic literatures were systematically distorted by the onslaught of the age of kali as the walls of the paddy field and the strand of the rivers are distorted by the onslaught of heavy rains the attacks of distortion are offered by atheistic philosophers who are concerned only with eating drinking being merry and enjoying these atheists are all against the revealed scriptures because such persons are intimately attached to the sense pleasures and gross materialism there are also others who do not believe in the eternity of life some of them propose that life is ultimately to be annihilated and that only the material energy is conserved others are less concerned with physical laws but do not believe anything beyond their experience and still others equate spirit and matter and declare the distinction between them to be illusory there is no doubt that the vedas stand as the most recognized books of knowledge from every angle of vision but over the course of time the vedic path has been attacked by philosophers like charvaka buddha arhat kapila patanjali sankara vaikarana jaimini the nyayakas the vaisheshikas the sagunis the empiricists the pashupata saivas the saguni saivas the brahmas the aryas and many others the list of non vedic speculators grows daily without restriction the path of the vedas does not accord with any principle devoid of an eternal relation with god the attainment of his devotional service and culmination in transcendental love for him light of the bhagavata chapter 21 the duty of intelligent men the wind carries the clouds to different parts of the globe and the clouds distribute rains to the satisfaction of people in general just as rich kings and merchants distribute their accumulated wealth inspired by religious priests as already explained the four divisions of society namely the intelligent class of men the brahmanas the ruling class the kshatriyas the mercantile class the vaishyas and the laboring class the shudras are meant to achieve one goal in life that is self realization or cultivation of the human spirit the intelligent class of men the brahmanas are to inspire the kshatriyas and vaishyas in performing sacrifices for spiritual cultivation and thus the cooperation of the brahmanas the kshatriyas and vaishyas uplifts the people in general or the ordinary laboring class of men as soon as this cooperation between the four classes of men in society stops and the basic principles of spiritual culture are neglected the social structure of humanity becomes a second edition of animal life based on the propensities of eating sleeping fearing and mating it is the duty of the intelligent men to influence the members of the richer communities the kshatriyas and the vaishyas to sacrifice for spiritual culture only in this way can the tension between the capitalists and the laborers be well mitigated in this age of kali when a slight difference of opinion leads to a quarrel even to the extent of riots it is the duty of the intelligent men the brahmanas to selflessly inspire the richer people to sacrifice for this purpose it is suggested here with that the men of the intelligent class 
should not themselves try to become kshatriyas or vaishyas nor should they engage themselves in the occupations of various other classes rather the brahmanas should simply guide them in spiritual cultivation just as the wind carries the clouds to other places to pour water the wind itself does not take up the responsibility for pouring the water the most intelligent men in society are the saints and sages who have sacrificed everything for the service of spiritual culture their duty is to travel throughout the human society and inspire its members to engage themselves in the acts of spiritual culture by sacrificing their words money intelligence and life that should be the theme of human life in order to make it a complete success a society with no taste for spiritual culture is a blazing fire and everyone in that fire perpetually suffers the threefold miseries as clouds pour water on a blazing fire in the forest and thus extinguish it the intelligent men who work as the spiritual masters of society pour the water on the blazing fire of miseries by disseminating spiritual knowledge and inspiring the richer section of the society to help in the cause temples of worship for example are constructed by the rich and these temples are meant to impart spiritual education to people in general the periodic spiritual ceremonies are held for inspiration and not for exploitation if there are flaws now because of the age of kali they should be rectified but the institutions they must be saved